So your syllabus says a book, ebook, or article is available through the library. What exactly does that mean? You might think that this means that the item is on course reserve. While this may be the case, it's not always so. Ebooks and electronic articles are generally not tagged as a course reserve and thus are not found when limiting our search to only course reserves. In this video, we will go over the different ways to access items that are on course reserve. And then in the next video, we will move on to a short general reminder on how to find ebooks, streaming films, and electronic articles. The first thing to do is to look to see if there is anything for your class on course reserve. In order to do so, change the search scope to the tab that says course reserves. Select this tab to search only for items that have been labeled course reserve. Remember, there are many items that your teacher has assigned and that the library has access to that are not labeled as course reserve. So don't get too discouraged at this initial phase. There are two groups of items that are on course reserve. The first are physical materials. Think books, DVDs, etc. And then there are reading folders. Let's look for physical materials first and then talk about folders. There are a number of techniques for searching for physical material within course reserves, but the best is to go with the course number for your course. This is a very general search, but it is usually the most foolproof. The key is to keep it simple. So let's say that you are in soch 314 u.001 forward slash 002. Do not put the whole course number in. The system will just get super confused and probably spit out no results. Just put in 314 into the general search box on the library homepage using the tab for course reserves and press enter to run the search. Now select the filter that says course number and name to open up a list of courses that either have 314 in their title or are in an item. Scroll through this list until you find your course. Then select the title of your course to see a list of everything on course reserve for it. So to recap, this is a simple way to find everything on reserve for your course. You can also search for course reserves using the instructor's name, the department abbreviation, and the title of the item on reserve. The best option of these is to use the departmental abbreviation, but you'll need to make sure it's correct. It's not always super apparent, so your best bet is a simple course number. Now what if your instructor has assigned an article and they say it's on course reserve? Now it's time to look directly for a reading folder. Searching by title here will absolutely not work. So, while you can certainly use the technique of searching just by course number, a quicker way is to add in the word folder to your initial search. So let's say you have a reading folder for CR314. In our initial search, we can add the word folder after the course number 314 and then run the search using the course reserves tab. And there it is. Select the title, select the online access point available online at, log in, and your reading should be there. But what if it isn't? That doesn't mean the library doesn't have access to it. It just means that it wasn't scanned in and placed in the reading folder. In general, items that the library holds electronically are not placed on course reserve because they are available to students at any time and mostly any place. So if you don't find the item assigned for your class on course reserve, don't despair just yet. Any resource that is available electronically through the library, articles, streaming films, ebooks, are not placed on course reserve and thus are not searchable through the course reserves tab or by course name or instructor. So in order to see if we have access to those resources, we will need to search for them in the library catalog more generally. The next video will go over how to find common resources assigned for your course, including ebooks, streaming films, and articles.